Region 8 News starts right now. Caution remains the key topic when discussing the new Highway 412 bypass. It's only been open for a few days in Paragould, but there's a struggle getting used to the traffic change. Hannah Campbell shows us how officials are working together to keep drivers safe. Hannah. So far, there has been one confirmed accident at the intersection. As you can see behind me, there are several signs indicating for drivers to come to a complete stop. This new stop means that drivers need to be extra cautious and really pay attention to the road. During the next couple of weeks, you may see the Greene County Rescue Squad at the intersection to serve as a reminder for drivers to stop. They will be out during morning and afternoon school traffic. Paragold Police Department Captain Brad Snyder says that drivers basically have to be retrained. The best thing drivers can do is put the cell phone down and watch the road. And, and you know, the big thing that, that folks need to remember is that the bypass does not stop. Nobody on the bypass stops. It's not a four-way. Uh, the, the bypass has, has the right of way. And I know that uh, generally all of the intersections are is through traffic for the bypass and everyone else, all other vehicles have to stop at all the intersections. And I know that uh, at first that'll take people used to getting to. Steiner says that some drivers go into autopilot mode. That can cause a major crash. The area is also densely populated with deer. That means that drivers need to use extra caution, especially during evening hours. Reporting live in Paragold, Hannah Campbell for Region 8 News. Hannah, thank you. New